talk about dental mask and eyebrow trauma in diving injury from manual professional lesion. So we mainly will talk about some traumas uh, made by uh, the mask or the pressure for the dental, for the face, facial, uh, and so on. So dental bowel trauma, when little bubbles trapped uh, in, for example, cavities, they can expand and cause pain when the diver is sending, uh, after it is sending, the pressure, as you know, in the decompression sickness, cause nitrogen to get down to the uh, liquid, and then when the uh, diver ascend, it can expand and cause pain. So here it says that it can occur during ascending or descending, because ascending causes pressure and ascending causes the bubbles, uh, and then the bubbles there in the root, in the cavities, wherever, whenever, wherever there is place, can form and expand and cause pain. Pain in the tooth, pain in the cavity, pain in the uh, abscess, whatever is the problem. In very rare cases, it can cause fracture to the teeth and complication like this. Mask barotrauma trauma is mainly barotrauma trauma to the face, to the area when the mask contacts the face. So it can cause echimosis, bleedings, uh, in the most severe form, it can cause retroorbital hemorrhage, which can be quite important, but is quite rare. And remember that retroorbital hemorrhage is uh, important to identify and treat with reduction and releasing of the pressure, lateral contectomy, and everything that can be done. But it's quite rare. Most of the time, it's just surrounding of the uh, face pain, and that's it. Sometimes it can cause subconjunctival hemorrhages, pain in the eyes, pain around the eyes, echimosis, and things like this. When there is retroorbital hemorrhage, the uh, diagnostic imaging is CT, and then we are, can do uh, the compression with them. Eyeball trauma can be caused by hard contact lens, and there again bubbles can be trapped and expand and cause uh, damage. Very, very uh, rarely it can cause other eye damage to the retina, for example, but it's quite rare. Most of the time, the treatment is usually symptomatic, and that's enough. But, of course, if there is a retroorbital hemorrhage, a retroorbital hemorrhage the, the treatment is not just symptomatic, it might need the compression intervention. So most of the time, dental mask and eye is need only symptomatic treatment. That's it. Thank you.